Good morning. I'm Sharon Payne and I have a question for you. Is my glass half full or half empty? Just so you know, my favorite drink is Diet Dr. Pepper and yes, I can always refill the glass. But today, I would like for you to think about how your perspective makes all the difference in everyday life. My grandmother was born in 1900 and these are some of the events that took place during her lifetime. 1914, World War I began. 1918, there was the Spanish flu epidemic. 1929, the Great Depression began. 1939, World War II began and the U.S. entered the war in 1941. In 1952, we had the Korean War. Also during the 1950s, polio was the scare of the time. People were quarantined and a vaccine wasn't introduced until 1955. And now if you give the children the vaccine, it's almost non-existent in the US. Now I don't remember or know the exact dates, but there was also the Cold War with Russia going on all this time. And then in 1964, we had the Vietnam War. All of these were before she was 65. And yes, I'm older than 65. My grandmother lived until she was 94, a full life and look at all she endured. When we look at what we are facing today, we need to think of the glass. Is it half empty or half full? We need to make choices and we need to remember that God is always there for us. I don't remember my grandmother ever complaining about all that she went through. You've heard the saying, remember the good old days? So in looking at this, I was reminded of Isaiah 41:10, which says, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And there's also Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Perspective is an amazing art. Try and keep things in perspective during this time. Be smart, help each other out, and we will get through all of this. In the history of the world, there has never been a storm that lasted. And as our grandmothers used to say, this too shall pass. Let's pray. Our Father, we are so thankful for all that you do for us, and we are so thankful that you are there for us, and you are helping us through this time. We need to remember that you are our strength. You know what's going on. You have a plan. Be with us in everything we do and say. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great week.